The NBA Finals are underway. Who's your money on? We'll talk predictions and much more. Just that sports dude starts right now. The NBA Finals took an off last night, and Golden State taking game one, the prediction train continues to roll. Now, I've already put my prediction in. Cavs in six, so I'm locked in already. Over the past couple weeks, I've been gathering everyone else's prediction, and the trend is seven games or six games for an NBA champ to be decided. Now, Miss Mabel Gist from the Office of Cable Television, she said Cavs in seven. Uh, Merlin rapper J Flo, he said Warriors in seven. Mike Wooden, also from the Office of Cable Television, he agreed with J Flo and said Warriors in seven as well. OCT producer Matthew Granado, he was a little bit under the spectrum, but he also said Warriors, but in only five games. So he's predicting a dominant performance from the Warriors. Torn Cooper, and this is a funny one, he said, I don't care, maybe five or six, I just want the Warriors to win. So as you guys can see, <laughs> he is not a fan of LeBron James and the Cavaliers. And me, I said Cavs and six, as you already know. So, if you haven't already made your prediction, I'm challenging you right now to make one. You can hit me on all my social media accounts listed right here and tell me who you got and in how many games using that hashtag FutureChamps. Okay, so now that we got all that prediction stuff out of the way, you know, let's move on to something more interesting. Let's talk some basketball. Now, when we come back from this break, I'm going to tell you guys why I picked the Cavs to be a future champs in six games. I know some of you guys are like, six games? Chris, are you out of your mind? You're supposed to know sports. But I'm getting ready to tell you why the Cavaliers will be the 2015 NBA champions in six games. So stay tuned. You don't want to miss this one. Chris, that sports will be right back after this. Back to Chris that's supposed to do it, everyone. As always, I'm your humble host. Now, before we went to break, I told you guys that I had the Cleveland Cavaliers to be the future NBA champs six games. Now, I'm gonna back that up and I'll tell you what. Started with this. Cleveland Cavaliers, they've they've developed, they've, you know, developed their roster and they have a slew of role players. I mean, we're talking J.R. Smith, we're talking Amon Shumper, just to name a couple. And with the injury to Kyrie Irving, these guys are going to be more important than ever. So, I mean, let's start with Tristan Thompson, who's starting to come into his own. You know, according to my notes, which you guys know, I got to have my notes. I'm incomplete without my notes. <laughs> I mean, this guy's averaging almost 10 and 10 throughout the playoffs. And on any given night, he can give you 15 points, 12 rebounds. He can give you 10 points and 8 rebounds, just to name some just... On any given night, you know, of course, and we also have Mr. J.R. Smith. We all know, you know, plays straight out of high school. He can create his own shots. He's a good defender. He can give you 15 points. He can explode and give you 30 points, you know. Any given night, you know, the guy, he's unpredictable. But also a very, very, very great player. We have Amon Shumper, who is a great outside defender. And I think he's a 15 to maybe 20 point guy, you know. Depending on how the game is going, you know, how the game is flowing. Especially with Kyrie out being with Kyrie being out, he's gonna have to be a 20 point guy. I mean, he's, yeah, trust me, 20 points. Like I said, so Cavaliers fans, all hope is not lost because of the players that you guys have. Kyrie wasn't the whole team, LeBron isn't the whole team. They're a big part of the team. Oh, don't get me wrong. Those two, without if let's say you didn't have LeBron and it was only Kyrie, maybe all hope we lost then. But you guys have, you have a great roster here, Cleveland Cavaliers. They have a great roster, so all hope is lost, and I still say it's going to be Cleveland 6. But these guys, trust me, they're going to have to play out of their minds. They're going to have to play absolutely unbelievably all aspects of the game. They're going to have to make free throws. They're going to have to play good defense. They're going to have to rebound. I'm going to be talking Tristan Thompson and Mazda. They're going to have to be 10 rebound a game, guys. It's, trust me, because it's not going to be easy. 
especially without Kyrie. Come on, Shumper, J.R. Smith, they're going to have to explode on the, on the offensive end. They're going to score. They're going to play good defense and all that good stuff. So That's my first reason. Second reason, as you all can probably figure out, I named it in my notes, LeBron versus Steph. We have two MVPs, Steph Curry being the reigning MVP 2015, and LeBron a four-time MVP. I believe that LeBron James will be the dominant MVP of this series. And he's going to have to be, especially with Kyrie being out. Like I said, whoever is going to be the dominant MVP of this series, that's what's going to decide it. Like I said, I believe LeBron is as good as he's ever been right now. I mean, he's controlling everything. He's regulating the game. He's regulating the tempo, the speed, everything. I mean, he's getting whatever he wants. I mean, last night, 44 points. 44 points, people. Yeah, he didn't feel the stat sheet like, like I think the Cavs are going to need him to do. And I'm talking about a, a 25, 12, and 10 type of night. You know, he didn't get that at 44 points. I think about, off the top of my head, I don't remember, but I think about six assists, maybe five rebounds. He's going to have to be a 30-point, 10-rebounder, 12-assist type of guy for them to have a chance. And I believe he can do it because he's done it. He's done it throughout the playoffs. Right now, he's averaging about 30 you say about 30, and this isn't in my notes, this is off the top of the dump. I say about 30 points, 12 rebounds, and about 8 assists. Or, you know, flip, you know, flip this, flip the rebounds and assists, give or take one or two. What can you do? Yeah, right now he's controlling everything. And I'm telling you, with Kyrie out, it's just going to be that much more important that he fills the stat sheet every single night for the rest of this series for them to even have a chance. And I believe they do, because they still have Mr. LeBron James. And what LeBron James didn't have last, his last in Cleveland, he has now. He has a team on him. Before, it was just about just LeBron James. He had a he had an okay, he had an okay slew of players, but no, not not anything like he has now. Like he actually has a team now. Taking nothing away from them old from those old Cavaliers teams, but this team is a lot different. And like I said before, they're playing the best basketball. And this and these things are what they're gonna have to do in order to be future champs in six games. Taking nothing away from Steph and the Warriors, they played absolute great basketball all season, but I just don't see them being the champs this year. Maybe next year. But I still see it being LeBron James and the Cleveland Cavaliers this year. But the role players. They're going to have to play out of their minds. With Kyrie being out and LeBron James, he's going to have to fill the stat sheet. So, if they can, pretty much, if they continue to play how they played throughout these playoffs, we're looking at the Cleveland Cavaliers being your NBA champs in six games. Well, that's all for this episode of Chris Day Sports Dude. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Now, if you have more predictions to say, or you just want to talk more basketball, feel free to comment on this video below. Hit me on all my social medias, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Well, the next time, love you guys. Have a great night and enjoy the finals. Trust me, I'm going to definitely enjoy it. So, till next time, first that's supposed to do, peace.